and here is one veterans memorial park that under construction right now because of the hurricane how they repair the pier that was broken by hurricane gigantic barge with a crane on top of it and they removed the old pier it used to be another pier over there and also i watched um, at, at night um, rocket launch from that park but right now it's in the construction too so it's closed and it's a nice place they have a bathrooms and everything here they use area hi guys here is the park rules space view park and they have overnight parking or camping by permit only and i stayed here overnight for the rocket launch or across from the street you can have rv park and here is rv park stay and watch the uh, rocket launch in downtown titusville next to rv park they have a this shopping center with italian eyes food massage with happy ending probably so you can basically uh, have your rv at rv park then you can go watch you can go on the beach watch the um, rocket launch or you can go shopping or explore downtown very convenient Chica at RV Park. Yeah. Nice RV Park, I like it. I like it that it's so convenient to rocket launch and to downtown Titusville. So you kind of can have a city life in RV Park on the beach on the Indian River. Biking Heaven was discovered on downtown Titusville next to the waterfront and Space View Park. They have such a big wide biking lane. So yeah, thumbs up for the biking in Titusville, Florida. Hey guys, I'm in Titusville on Pine and Hopkins and behind me we have a shuttle with uh, engines how cool is that you guys wow and uh, here is we have an engine that it was on it here wow look at that super cool mariners and main street they have this incredible mirror wow it's, uh, they did such a great job making this wow i love it love it love it love it so yeah and uh, this is how uh, downtown titus will look like the space walk of fame park and here it shows where it's separated from the carrier and satellite going in space and debris drop to for the fish <laughs> biggest advocate of space program in Kennedy John F. Kennedy hey good job Kennedy good job in Dover named after school children for the famous British ship that took James Cook in his first voyage in the 18th century for the Enterprise so you guys know where where what's going on so enterprise one names for spaceship from the star trek television series in new mexico probably next to roswell <laughs> nasa white sands test facility and space harbor and here we are nasa kennedy space center processing launch and landing operation is Columbia here is 
name Boston based ship that explored the Pacific Northwest during 18th century. Chalajan name after British exploration ship that sailed in 19th century as well as Apollo 17 lunar model. Flight history, first flight April 483. Challenger was completed 995 orbits during 10 mission beginning in 83 Challenger and its crew were lost during 86 launch. Wow. Yeah, it's a risky business. So you gotta be a risky biscuit to take, take out this incredible space exploration. Discovery. Named for two famous British ships of the exploration in 17th and 18th century. Uh, first flight, Aegis Story 84. Discovery was NASA's workhorse shuttle during 39 mission between 84 to 2001. It spent a total of one year in space and traveled 149 missions and miles. And it doesn't say that it's been lost, so probably it's got retired. What do you think, you guys? We gotta find out. And here is we have Atlantis. Named for the world's Hall of Oceanographic Institute sailing ship of exploration in 20th century. Flight history. First flight October 385. Atlantis was launched into space 33 times and during 448 orbits flew 126 million miles in 2011 Atlantis flew the final space shuttle mission if you're hungry here is Burger King CVS and uh, KFC over there 